This is Eric Johnson, the new voice of Sam Fisher and Splinter Cell Blacklist, and you're listening to the Start Replay Podcast. Hello, you're through to the Start Replay team. This is Josh speaking. How may I help? This is Sam. I'm at the extraction point. Immediate evac required. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You're Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. Okay, I get the act, guys. Just stop it. Where's Grim? Grim? <laughs> Come on, just listen to yourself. You don't even sound like Michael Ironside. Damn it, I need Grim. There's no time. Okay, okay, okay. I tell you what, I'll go and get Grim, but you have to say her name by her code name, okay? Grim's daughter. Where is she? There we go. That's a Sam I know. He's always like Grim's daughter, and he's like Lambert. But Lambert isn't here anymore, and then there's Grim's daughter, so... But you're getting there. You're getting there. Very close. But the engineers are closing in on me. I don't have much time. I've got to stop the blacklist at all costs. They're here. There's no time to tell Grim I'm sorry. Josh, why did you hang up? I really hate prank calls. Star replay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Oh, we'll that low. And we'll go. Uh, 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 yeah, no, we're doing Tetris. Oh, we're doing Tetris. What? We're doing Tetris. Mike? Mario. No, we're doing Tetris. No, we're doing Tetris. What? What have we been singing all day? No, we're doing Tetris. <laughs> 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 Hello everybody and welcome to our Gamescom special of the Start Replay podcast. My name is Josh Ball, I'm editor-in-chief for StartReplay.com and tonight in Germany, Cologne, I'm joined by a few people in the room. One namely is a man who's not on his headset, he's not Cybernet, he's not taker of the world just yet, he's in the room with us on his road mic, he's Tom (laughs) Davies, ladies and gentlemen. Indian accent once again. How are you doing, Tom? Good, thank you. Exhausted, actually. And yeah. My feet stink. It's not great. Sorry, Thanks. By the way, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's quite a quite an exhausting week, right? Your first com- your Absolutely first major week exhausted of gaming. Yeah, it's not. It's, uh, blah, 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 blah. it's good, right? Then, but myself and from my side, just as soon as I get lot, home. Lot of stuff happened. Got yeah. a lot to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, we are joined by uh, two other randomers in the room. Two two new guests. Two other strangers. And those strangers are... Tom, do you want to do it? John T. Heiser. Uh, hello. And uh, two friends from school. And George Nelson. Hello. They're, uh, yeah, two friends from school who we found out we're going to game school at the same time. Obviously at the same time. Duh. Uh, so we thought, you know, get them in. See how's it all going. Yeah. And, uh, and now they're in the room. And now they're in the room. So yeah. we've talked about our experience of Gamescom. Exactly. Collectively, as a whole, united being. Just so you know, guys, it's always good to... It, you need to get used to it. It's good to project your voice on this podcast, especially with that small snowball you're talking to right now. Which is very, not very sensitive. Um, it is. Oh, it is. It is, but it's always good to have extra oomph in there. So it's always All good right. to project your voice. Must projection! Out. Projection number two. Yes. Like screaming. Yeah. Arnold's returning into the podcast. Time to project. <laughs> but actually, they're, they're on one snowball anyway, so we can just bump it up. Yeah, I know, but yeah. it's always good to have more to play around with. Boost me. You can never have too much. Where is, where is Snowball Mike? I am here to project you. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. Come with me if you want to talk. What is your mission? My mission is to project. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Antonio Banderas on the source thing. <laughs> My mission is to project. What? That's <laughs> no idea. Oh, halfway between the two. Okay, know. so um, well, I guess there was one major difference between me... Uh, Tom. Two seconds. And also two ben seconds. Yeah, Ben is asleep in the room next door. He's uh, he he's been shattered. He has, yeah, he's, shattered. he's been shattered. He's, he's, he's been, been shattered. shattered. Basically shattered. <laughs> Basically <laughs> shattered like Literally glass. He's man. in pieces he's in the been... floor. Okay. What? <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> he said he's been shattered and then yeah, stopped. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> 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 no one heard that. Yeah, Ben isn't with us unfortunately, but uh, he's he'll there. he'll be with us in spirit. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Like you guys? Sounds like he's a guy. The next thing he says, he'll always be with us. Right here. In our right. right in our hearts. Right in our hearts. In our hearts and in pieces. Two he's gone down. to the big gaming convention in, convention in the sky. <laughs> 24-7 gaming convention. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Gaming heaven. So what have we got to talk about then, Josh? So, yes. Games? Gamescom has happened. And it was very exciting. We got 
to Gamescom on Tuesday, Tuesday the 20th. 20th. Yep. Very early in the morning. And on that day, we did quite a few things. Well, we walked across half of Cologne. Yeah, about three times. Well, no. Four, we, okay, four. We walked across Cologne once. And, and we back. got coaches back. Coaches? Mm, yes, what? we did. It felt like I walked halfway across the world, quite frankly. Regardless, with the two unfit gentlemen and a slightly wheezy Josh, we made our way to the EA press conference, which was... Uh, which was pretty good. It was your first conference experience, wasn't it, Tom? Uh, yes, yeah, it was. Yes, yeah, yeah. managed to get you in in the end. As I was yeah, the Josh waltzed person. in again. Yeah, I waltzed in. That, looked himself in for everything. Yeah. And no one else. Yeah. Great colleague. Oh, uh, so ben, yeah. and I, ben and I sat outside waiting for a while, and then we just said, can we go in? We're like, yeah, sure. Yeah, luckily. So we hop in, and we just walked in, stood at the side, um, which was nice. I, yeah. I mean, they did repeat a lot of the stuff bless you in advance they repeated a lot of the stuff that they showed at E3 oh come on what they did no I want to sneeze oh right (laughs) (laughs) I didn't quite know what you meant there so they did repeat quite a lot of stuff there but you know they had some fun stuff there the new sims I don't know if you guys uh, caught it no we didn't no. no okay it's great input well, there. Everything yeah. that was in the EA bit at the end of yeah, oh, right, basically. Okay. Well, I mean, you guys played a little bit of Battlefield, we lined did. up for a few hours. Titanfield Four and uh, Call of Titanfield Four. Oh well, Call of Titanfield, 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 Titan, Call of Titanfall. Call of Titanfall. We'll about in a bit. Yeah, Four. But uh, so, what was your experience like being in the in the queue? Um, how how long are you in the queue for? for yeah, that? Battlefield what? 4 was what, half an hour? No, no, an hour and a half. Even. Yeah, about that. Yeah. And what, oh, what, what were the bad. words that you could always repeat? Because it just kept looping. Okay. Here, take my gun. Don't shoot the window or we all die. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. Take it, don't do yeah. it. Essentially, we got the tra- a 10 second trailer over and over and over again, which was. It was, loop it, was fun, it was fun the first time. No, and then two sort of just later. slid down. I'm going to have nightmares about that Rihanna song as well, so... <laughs> Stuck it. Even we're in Titanfall, which is... Hey, 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 hey. Then the occasional overdramatic EA whole oh, yeah. exhibit. Yeah. The whole thing's yeah, wiped up and the EA bass TV. comes from everywhere. <laughs> so what did you guys see yeah. of Battlefield 4 whilst you were... I liked it. Did you play it? Yes. Ah, <laughs> no. Yeah, it, it was pretty <laughs> unstable though. The build's obviously been rushed out a bit, right? So it was crashing all over the shop. Are you sure what, that wasn't part of the game? You know, like, things tend to crash when you're shooting bullets everywhere. What? Yeah, wrong yeah. kind of crashing there. Yeah, yeah. wrong kind of. Buddy. Okay. Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Sure. Let's uh, elaborate. And what? what, uh, what well, um, what? literally within the first five minutes, I was doing quite well. No, not five minutes because we only got fifteen minutes. Uh, <laughs> it was well, yeah. yeah they said they said we were going to get prizes for coming first to fourth on each team yeah uh, 32 v 32 battle which was pretty cool um, awesome so 64 so, player online yeah the pressure was on to perform can you not uh, perform under pressure <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes <laughs> yeah so I, my client crashed about three times so I kept changing to a different machine what were you playing on PC. On the PC. computer. Yes. Okay. No, so computer. Weren't, all right, so they weren't PS4 or Xbox. No, they had um, yeah. placed uh, game... No. Game pads! <laughs> game Boy <board> no. controllers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had uh, the DSs hooked up. Uh, the 360 X, pads. X, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, but it's kept crashing, so they kept moving me to different boxes, and then within the se- first time I moved, within 10 seconds it had crashed again. Oh. Then another one, and That's then it crashed, cool. and the, the game pad was just vibrating mm-hmm. constantly. Then I changed team. I've got like a bit of a traitor. Because um, <laughs> I was just going to the first oh. event. The first event. Yeah. They were directing me, you know. Um, okay, and well, come on the enemy team. Yeah. That's what, what I said. Go. The best part was halfway through the time, uh, everyone's computer crashed. There was just a load of flashing lights. Oh, really? Everyone's computer crashed. Yeah, <laughs> it was just, it was just a moment. Through, yeah. It was just a moment. Like my, my people, I couldn't. Yeah. yeah, some people started clapping, <laughs> thinking they were, they'd done. And then he goes, like, oh, it's crashed, it's crashed, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All I knew is my headset sort of just went, bloop. And then I saw, saw everyone's screen just going, flash, 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 flash. Just have to say, oh, completely yeah, yeah. broken wow. I think it's a bit of a mistake on their part. They, they obviously rushed the build out. Yeah. yeah. 
That's a shame to see. Well, I even heard some rumblings uh, through a rival gaming website who shall not be named. Don't even think of naming it. Voldemort.com. RGF. Yes. RGF. RGF. Dot com. RGF. RGF. No, not RGF. But that's... Really? No, 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 on, on one of the biggies. Yeah, don't even think about it. It's got a G in it. It does have a G, <laughs> and it has... An M. And an O. Is that not it? No? Yes, but shh. Gin.com. Gin. 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 Yes. Gin. So on Gin.com, one of the staff members there apparently saw the PlayStation 4 version and wasn't impressed at all. The textures weren't up to scratch and a lot of it wasn't too good. It wasn't fully polished and ironed out. Apparently it wasn't. It's only two months away. Yeah. How much stuff. can you do in two months? And you need to ship the product. You can still turn the Texas down if it's not running very well. <laughs> turn it down? More? On the PlayStation 4? No, I just mean if the build's not working. Well, get out, high push first, then, get out the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, besides the crashing, it was pretty good on PC. Cool. Was what bit, was the highlight? Uh, uh, the bit that I enjoyed the most was actually there's a bit where the storm picks up. Because we were battling on a kind of island ah, in a mm-hmm. tropical oh, storm. Yes, we were trailer. It really picked up at one point, and like there was howling wind and waves, oh, and yeah, like yeah. trees moving, and you, and you could like physically feel it with the head That's with weird. a proper headset on as well. Mm, like, yeah. It felt amazing. I was like charging through it, trying to get some life kills because I was desperate um, for kills. Yeah, I got quite a lot of knife kills. Desperate for kills. Yeah. Desperate for I was because I was I was fifth at the time. It, right time was running out. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, and I thought I'd get a prize <laughs> coming fourth, but I didn't. Ah, got the knife, everyone! Oh. And uh, yeah, my personal Crazy. highlight was when um, when we just got into the ja- uh, into the game, John T's computer crashed, and he was parachuting in and just uh, fell completely. <laughs> 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 he landed slightly before me, <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, where does it say what button to press?" And I figured out at the very last second, I was about to hit the voice about. Ah! Oh, I know, I didn't crash, I just didn't realise. I just crashed. Oh, did you not, did you not well, have a parachute? If, no, you can land in you water. Guys just go, in three, <laughs> you can land in water without putting a parachute out. Which, oh, okay. Really? From any height? Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> wild. Yeah, hit this brick wall. No, it's water. Don't worry. But, um, I obviously must have hit their rock, because George okay. did the exact same thing and survived it, but I just died. And, yeah, maybe it's a glitch. Like a bit of a, yeah. Maybe, 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 the, maybe the game Guys. is... Yeah. Bug. I, well, I think I, I was free bug testing. Yeah. I, th- I think it was because your computer crashed and you just sort of went, nah. You're, you're not going to have fun. Move nah. somewhere else. Yeah. And so much came fourth though. Where did you come, George? Um, I came out of the 32 people on my team. I came in the top half. Uh, oh, we'll put okay. it there. You're above average. Above Consider- average. Considering, considering it was my first, like, I don't play. Yeah. No, sorry. Carry on. <laughs> well, you can always cut it down. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, I, I I got the joke. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, <I got> the <laughs> joke. so um, just wasn't funny. Yeah, <laughs> considering it was my first, I don't really play. Yeah, George, I don't really play Call of Duty or Battlefield, so it was my first Battlefield experience, and I, I thought I did all right. Did I okay, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Battlefield. I just play a lot of Titanfield. Titanfield, Call of Titanfield, Titanfield yeah. Four. Yeah, Call of Titanfield Four, Ghosts, Creed, Creed. Origin, Origin, Origins, Nagero, Macra, <laughs> no. and Tab. And so, before we go on to more games. What else did we get up to on the first day, Tom? Uh, we filmed a lot. Yes. Well, no, the, the first day is in, not the first oh, day. Oh, Tuesday. Oh, shit. Oh, Tuesday. So, so this wasn't even technically games gone. No. This was just Germany. Yes. God, that was boring. Uh, so, yeah, after the EA conference, uh, which was, yeah, pretty much identical to E3, um, we then had how long to kill? What, after what, sir? After EA. After what EA. We after that? We got, um, oh, we got the coach back. Only a couple of hours. Coach back straight to um, the Sony Conference Centre, which Josh had already pre-registered for his armband, his yeah. wristband. But, um, um, oh, when we so when we pre-registered, sorry, cool. when I pre-registered, who did we see there? We saw people from Mo. Oh, Mo! Yeah, Mojang. Yeah, they're walking with a load of Minecraft stuff, which we then we said, "Well, Minecraft on PlayStation, maybe." And that was later. Yes, field. it happened. It did happen. We we called it. So yeah, yeah. I, I registered and carried. So yeah, Josh went in and Ben and I again were left outside standing. Um, but we did manage to finish the game. We hung around for ages and then these other people started walking with their wristbands. We kind of walked in and said, you know, what's the deal with registration? He said, go talk to people in the booth. And we went over there and we went over to a desk 
and we hung around and then I went over to the, the, the bouncer dude by the main entrance and said, is there any standing space? Went, yeah, yeah, sure, mate, come in. So I was like, what? what? Standing around for like hours. Surely went, yeah, 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 there's space, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, mate, just head up, up, mate, the other left. Yeah, just go up. Uh, yeah. Go up there. Michael Caine. Yeah, You're out of place, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> You've Bro. fallen far. After my oh. last job, I went to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Took a role as a bouncer. <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, mate, but you cannot go in this pub, can you? You only went to blow the bloody doors off. You only went to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> what is that face you're pulling? <laughs> okay. you're 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 he's got, he's got to make face. his jaw larger so yeah, he can do the got to do the same time. Very stiff marshmallows under his tongue. Michael Jaw came. Michael Jaw <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, the jaw is sort of turning into more of a Sean Connery. Sure. Sean. Sean. Oh, George, George, why did you oh, do that? George, Sean Connery. Sean Connery's always made a special appearance in our We've only had 11. But he feels like he's been here forever. Tom, would you like to enter a seat? No. Goodbye. So we had the Sony conference. Get back onto the topic of this podcast. <laughs> Um, which was awesome. Ben and I stood at the back. Josh was maybe a quarter of the way back at the front. Um, uh, they're doing nice indie stuff, and yeah, Minecraft was announced. And lots of other things that we will cover later on. Yes. And in an article, I'm sure that you will love to write up. Yes. Um, <laughs> and after that, we uh, we went to an exclusive, highly exclusive, exclusive. Xbox One. Is it community party? Uh, party. Yes. No, it, it was, was very a VIP, VIP community party. Very exclusive, free food, you drink. Um, but we are sort of Sony fanboy. This, this, this. Yeah, whilst Josh is wearing an Xbox One t shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I am currently, yes. <laughs> I'm a Sony fanboy, he says, wearing an Xbox One branded t shirt. But um, yeah, went to the party, uh, which was awesome. So there were a few games that we could test out. Had the chance to win multiple Xbox Ones, which we didn't. Yeah, which is unfortunately not. But yeah, there was like Kinect, Sports Rivals, Call of Duty Ghost, Dead Rising Three, Zoo Tycoon. Uh, what's that? Dead racing Rising game? Forza. I said Dead Rising. Racing Four. Racing Next Adventures Two. Uh, yeah. Forza Five. Yeah, I said that. Call of Duty Ghost. Were you listening to anything I just said? Uh, the new Fable. Fable. The Sports Project Spark. Spark. That's behind closed doors. Um, yeah. Project was, Spark was yeah, opened. Spark. Yeah. And so there's some free so food outside. They had uh, one of the two P20, only uh, well, cars. The McLaren P20. The main car that's on the front of the Forza Five box. That's yeah. the one with wheels. Yeah, yeah. It uh, has four of them. It's five yeah. of them. Five. Five. Oh shit! Yeah. If I if I crash, it's got rather rather large engine as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Has, has one on the trunk. Oh. Wheel wise, it's not even on the trunk. No, it's got steering wheel, obviously. Oh, that's extra weight there. Yeah. So. Steering yeah. wheel is the adding more weight. You're, yeah. you're oh, not going to get out and spare and change a, change a flat for the side of the race course, are you? Like 22 inch. Wow. Yeah, no. oh. But, so, anyways, anyway. and whilst I was there, I managed to meet a few YouTubers, which was awesome. Yeah, quite a few. From the Oscast, blah, blah, blah. Rave about the Oscast, blah, blah, blah. But it was still pretty fun. Um, and that was our Tuesday, in short. Yeah, they had all the enjoyed. they had all the Microsoft execs there. Uh, Phil Harrison, Major Nelson. Can you do you want to say that again? Execs. XX. The Microsoft execs. 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 The XXX. Execs. You went to the Microsoft XXX party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft Triple X. The booth based man. Damn. They were booth based man. They weren't it. <laughs> yeah, they're all. <laughs> from yeah. Wow. There's a free food outside. Those guys are wearing tiny shorts. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Gross. Mm. So, yeah, they had all the major people there from Xbox, mm-hmm. which was uh, kind of strange, you know, just bumbling in and out of the major people of Xbox. I think we were the only press like, consumer people there. Yes, I think. kind of. Yeah, everyone else was either like, well-known. Yeah, no, we were very lucky to be there. Thank you, Graham Boyd, um, yep, one well, of the head you. people over at the online sector of Xbox. Microsoft. Thank, sure, thank you for that. We uh, we greatly well, appreciate you. it. Thank you. We met some really great people that night. Um, Laura Johnson. Johnson. Thank you to her as well. And, for getting uh, all Jim four Carey. Us here. We met Jim Carrey. Miss uh, Madam <laughs> Carrey. No, we didn't. We met um, Carrie. Carrie. Don't know what it was. Lovely lady named Carrie. Carrie. And uh, who else? So a big thank you to Laura for getting us into uh, the Xbox. other. 
All four of us. Yes, yeah, all four, four of us. Five things. Five. I didn't remember what it was. Another after hours drinking session. After hours drinking session and pretzels. Drinking food and playing each other at connecting. Drinking food. Drinking. Baby. Drinking. I'm listing here. Drinking, comma food, comma. Drinking. And we were drinking food. <laughs> and we were also drinking Connect. <laughs> and then we ate some pretzels. Yes. And we met some of the people from Rare. Which is. And really I cool. got to meet the boss. So did I. I was Sucker. with you. Yeah. I did. But he got really jelly. Yeah, uh, I'm really I had, jealous. I had a heart to heart with him because I chose uh, the character that was designed off of him. And he was like, that shows it works because you picked me. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I was like, like, are you by any chance Craig? Because that looks an awful lot like you. <laughs> He's like, yes. I was like, I hear you're the boss. Sweet talk, like, yes. And I was just like, Connect is so good, I love Xbox, it's amazing! Give me free stuff! Give me free stuff, give me stuff. But the funny thing is that Rare, I mean, what does Rare mean to you guys as a company? What, I hadn't even what, heard one of it the day. What, yeah. One game, apart from Dayton, because he's... What one game springs to mind from Rare? That game that we played, that was the first time I've heard of them. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Goodness me, I really... <laughs> it's just so upset. Golden Eye 64. Uh, Banjo Kazooie. They made Conker's Bad Fur Day. So I've not even heard of the last two. The lady who was uh, helping well, us. We did upset her about that, but I haven't played the game. She, yeah, she entered the team just after Golden Eye, apparently, which was back in the late 90s. Right. Back in 1955. Nope. 1997 is when the game came out. I believe, or 98. See, back at that time, I was playing the games not really cared about who made them yeah. yeah the only one developer I knew was Naughty Dog because they made Crash Bandicoot that was it yeah, yeah Naughty yeah, Dog so. and Rare were the two main game companies that sprung to mind. I never played Cold and Kojima games. Productions because I loved Metal Gear Solid back then and I still do so I am so uh, what were we talking about yes oh the Xbox X- oh Tuesday Wednesday oh you guys still went there on a Wednesday it was press day oh we also met Halo travel day we met, we met Master, Master Chief. Chief. Oh my god, the Master Chief outfit was amazing. Chief. Yeah, we met Chief. the Chief. Chief. We met the Chief. It was pretty it was cool. The best outfit ever. Yeah, it was very cool. And uh, also had a very good chat with one of the people from Xbox and uh, had a good talk about their reversal in uh, in their policies and <laughs> and their relationship with Indies. And Actually, by chance, he was one of the people I met just before E3 who jumped into a fake... I say fake... Um, man-made Scrooge McDuck money pit which was lined with large gold <laughs> coins plush ones um, but it was actually a, a wooden bottom and he jumped in in a suit and went dunk on the bottom <laughs> and, I, and I just remembered his face and I went up to him and said did you by chance jump into a money pit at uh, the Iron Maid bit art gallery in Los Angeles and I went yes yeah I remember that okay. <laughs> how how's are you the, the cock six <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Do your legs still work? <laughs> so we had a good well, chat. Watch it. Um, so that was an amazing night. Um, do you want to carry on a little bit? Yeah, well, Wednesday was essentially our well, filming day, mm. which was press day. So George and John T. We, we, did you guys arrive on a Wednesday? We arrived. No, we arrived late, on the late in the evening. Late in the evening on Wednesday. Um, so we've been there. You know, we got up early, got there for nine ish, probably half nine. Uh, much like obviously the best day because it was so quiet and we didn't really take advantage of it we should have what we should have done was go around play all the games get all the, the free shit on the Wednesday before all these public noobs come up yeah. and uh, but we decided to do all the filming then which still worked out quite well it was probably fun but uh, absolutely shattered yeah because we were just walking from hall to hall to hall to hall to hall to hall to hall just finding out where everything was is that a new German word Tall, 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 very tall. Um, so we did a lot of filming, which will be hopefully you guys will be able to see um, bits of it. We might release a, a you, Gamescom video. Well, yes. At first, though, you'll be able to catch my exclusive interview with the creative director on Batman Arkham Origins, Mr. Eric Holmes. Mr. Eric Holmes. Mr. Eric Holmes. Where he unveils something exclusive. Well, exclusive. Exclusive. Exclusive in the sense that. They've unveiled they're working on DLC for Batman Arkham Origins. But that's the exclusive. I haven't seen a report anywhere. It's an ex- you've ruined the exclusive. But yeah, you've just given away the exclusive. Mm. Yeah, no one's going to go watch it. No one's going to watch the video now. That's his like, only selling like point. Exclusive, but you already told us. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to I'm gonna that's have to... That's the evidence, though. <laughs> the evidence. I'm going to have to cut it out. I'm going to have to go... It's, uh... <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that was the exclusive. <laughs> You'll have to uh, look at StarReplay.com <clears> for that. Yeah. But so yeah, once it was entirely filming, and again extremely exhausting because we walked around. Yes, 
Oh, Jeez. God. Bloody hell. Well, it's a little bit unprepared. Uh, yeah. We were a little bit unprepared, weren't we? Because, we well, we'd never been, been to Gamescom, so it was a bit no alienating. And the way everything was functioning and, and how they had a separate press area and they had all these halls. and Yeah, the business area back and forth between there. Yeah. And yeah, and, and we had to try and get lots of VIP passes and Ubisoft. Oh my God, I love Ubisoft, but they're so hard to deal with. Anyway, lots of Ubisoft stuff. Um, well, unfortunately not from us because we only saw a couple of games, South Park and... Oh, wait, no, that's it. Um, oh, wait, hang on, you said we again. Sorry, me. <laughs> this does. As a... As a, as a company. <laughs> as a as, as an collective. As, <laughs> as a collective. As a collective. You guys know this video? <clears throat> Greatest cry in the world. So I went deep down in my heart. So I still love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm in a room full of teenagers. We're only just out of being teenagers. Yeah, we be kids. One, two. Uh, you're my real dad. <laughs> I'll be a stepdad by the end of the week. Penny wow. game. Penny game. Son. Penny game. Penny game. Um, but Thursday, so, where were we? You first guys, day we had you guys turned up. First you? day. First day. How was it for you guys? Um, interesting. It was interesting yeah. for us as we saw the hordes. Oh fuck oh, yeah. me! Thursday was the worst. Tumbling day. into yeah. the holy Christ conference. We arrived no. a little later than we than we wanted to. Should have done. Should have done. Should have done as we well. Didn't know. Um, I didn't know. Yeah, but either. so we arrived at about quarter past twenty past ten. And we didn't get in till just before twelve o'clock. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, we had we yeah. It was just hordes of people and standing up in a huge horde of people. Mm. That's not nice. No. What did you guys do the first day? Because you're both like, Jumpy and George, are both very big uh, League of Legends fans and players. Um, For those well, who well, across the globe. No, no, they're not. Yeah, for, for those who don't know, for those who don't know, what's, up, what's the space? Is League of Legends? It's uh, it's an online, it's a MOBA. It's based off the uh, Dota that came Dota mod that came out of the uh, Warcraft Three game. Yeah, and uh, it's essentially a game where, as a team, a group of five people try and destroy another team's base by taking a series of towers down and then they get into the base and take that. It's a very tactical and team-based game. It is, it's and it's game. currently the most uh, online played game on a weekly basis. Yeah, absolutely huge. You've got little tournaments winning. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And the little, little, little tournaments. Yeah. Well, little tournaments. Little tournaments. The, Pretty big tournaments. Well, the, t- the, team that won, the team that won today, who I still don't know who that was, I tried to look it up, uh, yeah. won over 100,000 euros. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Holy and, crap! And that's for the regional mm-hmm. tournament. Last year's uh, finals was a uh, million dollars. Wow! The winning team won a million dollars. It's a lot of money. Yes, yeah, yeah. a lot of money. And uh, it's, it's mainly funded. Over. It's mainly funded by uh, the company because they're all fairly minted. Riot yeah. are really trying right, their yeah. best to get the pro scene going for it. So they've invested mm. a lot of money well, into the well. I mean, Who are League of Legends. Riot Games, the people who created League of Legends. Cool. So it's mar- largely down to them, the huge yeah. size of the uh, esports for League yeah. at the moment. So on the Thursday, is that what you guys went to see? Was that we, the first thing you did? Or did you have a long wander mm. around? Or? It's where we, we sort of aimed to get there first and just see what was going on. And we saw... Um, we watched one uh, wild card game, which is where people had a chance to go to the world championships through a, a small tournament. So it's lost people from different uh, regions across the globe, and that mm-hmm. was pretty good. Awesome. Um, we were the two the two stages for League of Legends were huge. It was a Absolutely. big site. Yeah, it was big. massive. Really big. Um, and from there, we just sort of worked our way around. Played some uh, Diablo three on the PlayStation four, or PlayStation uh, three. Sorry, yeah, yeah, three. became a a weekend favourite. Yeah. That was a, a daily 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 to build by daily, three. Daily to build by three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, um, Comfy seats. It was just a nice change from standing up watching League of Legends to sitting on a sofa playing Diablo three. But was... you guys came to Gamescom pretty much for League of Legends, am I right? Um, it was, was a big factor. You to see, yeah, because E three. It's a big competition. Nothing. That was probably the main reason why we actually decided to do something like Gamescom to mm. see League of Legends. Well, so did you, do you think it's worth it? At the end oh, of the definitely. Yeah. definitely. Do it again? We're, we're already planning next year. Good, good, <laughs> That's good. That's the best part. 
So, yeah, have, yeah, um, yeah. was this your first major gaming event? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same. Yay! Well, you have been to a few press related events, yeah, which one, gets you into the two groove. Two. Three two. times a lady. Two, wasn't it? No, no. IGN and yeah. uh, IGN's been sell. Gin? Sorry? Gin. Gin. Don't Sorry. mention that name. Yeah. Don't, don't mention. <laughs> no, don't, don't mention the other one. The dirt, the dirt. <laughs> okay. Hey, don't drop that dirt, the dirt. So. Carry on. You've got to have the head bop as well. Yeah. So we had... Drop the duck and duck. What? <laughs> Don't drop the duck. Well, I'm editing this. Sorry. What what leave this in? Do you sleep it in, man? Just one long it's take. A, yeah, it's... 42 brilliant. minutes already. Lovely. Plus all the... <laughs> and all the... Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 Okay, so <laughs> everyone, stop. So on the yeah. Thursday and the Friday, which went pretty what quick. What did we do on Thursday? Well, we had lots of meetings, didn't we? Meetings. We did actually. Let's have a quick Ooh, what other meetings? We had. Yeah, have a little look. For Wednesday night, you forgot when we went to uh, the Cor- Corcon- oh. Corconian. Oh, oh yeah, a rather full pub. A we went to a very, full very pub. full pub where the industry hell. people go, apparently. Um, mm-hmm. Irish pub in the heart of Cologne. It's shopping district, as it were, named the Corconian, which was pub. very, very full. Mm. Um, Super busy. And then we went to Papa Joe's across the road. Oh, no, no, no! You must recall, Dave, there were two major events there. The first one was the Lita Pint. Oh shit! It Don't say the liters. second. Don't say the second event. And the second. So they sell pints and they sell pints and liters. They sell beer and liters. Oh my god! A double pint. Oh I'm, getting, I'm getting one. <laughs> and then, liters. I'm getting one. And then uh, yes, they did have these animatronic uh, music players. Music players. Musicians. Yeah, musicians. Yeah. Very, uh, <laughs> yeah, these very creepy devil <laughs> doll box doll s. Wax spawn of Satan. Mannequins that would um, <laughs> play, <laughs> play instruments. Play uh, automatic instruments. Accordion and a tuba. Yeah, accordion and a tuba. And uh, they'd look at you and their eyes would go everywhere and their cheeks would. And their eyes would stare yeah. into your soul. Stare deep into your soul. <laughs> and crush your heart with one gaze. It was a little bit scary. Crazy eyebrows. Oh, Just Jesus. Just going up and down, going mad. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. It was. It was a little bit, a little bit scary. But if you are, if anyone's listening to this, if you ever do go to Gamescom or Cologne in general, then do go to Papa Joe's, and uh, put in the number two four eight hash on the um, Why? machine. On the machine. Send a video yeah. to uh, send Tom. a video to no. at uh, tdaden at startreplay.com. What the fuck is? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> but yeah, so Wednesday night was it was, so was fun. Uh, yes, that was very, very fun. But Thursday then, we had a lot of well, meant to have a lot of meetings. Well, um, Thursday we we did have quite a few meetings. I went to Wolfenstein. You went to. Uh, Call Wednesday Duty. was Wolf, the Wolfenstein. Are you sure? I'm hundred percent sure because I put it on my calendar. Oh right, yeah. So we missed Assassin's Creed Four one because someone cocked it up. Something happened. I'm not going to mention names. Yeah, I'm not too sure. <coughs> <coughs> But then on Thursday we had Call of Duty meeting, War Thunder, Destiny, we yeah. got to play a load of PS4 games and see the PS4 in action uh, with well, Sarah... Sarah Wellick. Sarah Wellick. Who is the community manager for XDev at Sony, Sony Computer Entertainment Europe in London. <laughs> Dobby's arrived. Oh my God. Dobby! Dobby's arrived back in the podcast! And on Thursday <laughs> evening, no, don't do Dobby, on Thursday evening... At last, um, I have a really large thing to show uh, we, bumped into, <laughs> we bumped into someone we met on the Tuesday evening, uh, and and uh, she said, do you want, guys want to come to this Xbox thing and, you know, after hours at Gamescom? We are like, yeah, sure. She said, anyone else you want to invite? So I was like, well, I'll get my two friends along. Yeah. Got them a wristband, you know, free beer, pretzels, and playing Xbox night games for a couple of hours. And as we said, met some lovely people from Rare, and yeah. But then some great after industry. that, we Josh, uh, Ben, and myself had to fly off. Excuse me, to the war gaming party. 
well, not literally fly off, but we did go in a taxi pretty fast. Yeah, because I drove up the maniacs over here. Yeah. But, uh, that was that was mm. that was interesting. The wargaming party, lots of free drink, no food. Someone which, ordered rum, which I did order some rum. We walked over to the bar after being there for quite a while. And we're like, yeah, is there meant to be any food? No food. We're going now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel drunk. I'm hungry. And oh, should have had more pretzels. Should have had more pretzels. The following should morning, more pretzels. the following morning was not pretty. At least not because I woke up because. Josh was fucking doing Thor impressions in my ear. <laughs> another! Another! Uh, fuck off. <laughs> One more for Asgard! Fucking Loki. Jesus Christ. But yeah, what I like did you guys there on the... It does. Rawr! <laughs> on, um... So, so what, that was on Thursday, what, but what, Friday... Should we, uh, what, should we elaborate on what we went to see very specially? Okay, that's well, the, I can uh, elaborate on the Call of Duty one, because that's the only thing I went to. Really. No, I was going to say, with Sarah... With Sarah, oh, Sarah. And, and meeting the um, developer of Murasaki Baby and, and the newly announced Vita exclusive and, uh, title Rezogun as well Rezogun as well and we so it was the from that. basically there were about six PS Vitas in the room and four PS4s and a couple of PS3s, PS3s. Um, and they, she was, Sarah was just like well help yourself you know if you have anyone you want to interview or exclusive, bring them over, exclusive, exclusive for stuff for press, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, very lucky. That's awesome. Very, very very lucky. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, we, we sat down and played a game called Resogun. Which is the spiritual successor to Super Stardust H D. Yep. Um seen first on the PlayStation Three. Well, only on the PlayStation Three. I think Vita thereafter. Uh, not Vita, sorry, sorry with PSP. The... No. Uh, it might be Vita. Was he creative director as well? Um, I believe so. Probably. Um, of Rezo Gun, we and he was great, lovely, was fantastic. Yeah. yeah, but the game was really, really cool, and I believe it's being made available for free for the first month on PlayStation Four through PlayStation Plus if you have PlayStation Plus, which you'll need if you need to connect online, similar to Xbox Live Gold membership. But in this case, you get more free money, or so it seems at the moment. What else was that? It was um, Octo Dad. Octo Dad, Dad, which is amazing. Spinny, spinny thing. Octo, spinny game, Octo yeah. Dad is amazing. No, no, the other one. Uh, uh, Horoku. Something weird. Something. Didn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> it was basically this weird, colourful snake, and there was no objective. <laughs> it was like Ben's Willy. Trippy. But... <laughs> <laughs> Why is this colourful, can I ask? And it bites you. Too many aspirin. Uh, uh, exactly. <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> so I was right there. <laughs> <laughs> All the way along the corridor in the room. And so, but yeah, it was this weird, yeah. like, colourful snake. I've forgotten um, what the name is. It was A3. Yeah, it was weird. It was title. There was no objective to the game. It was, enjoy, it was relaxing. Just to yeah. sit down and be like, Ooh. it's fine. It's trippy instead of relaxing. Trippy. <laughs> Octo Dad, oh my goodness, that was an amazing experience. It's just like, have you ever heard of Octo Dad? I've seen slash heard of it. You haven't played it. Ridiculous, absolutely so. Just watching it. So you have your tentacles and and you sort of switch between the you switch between the right and your left. You switch between your like arms and legs essentially. You have to do them separately. It's one of those really hard to control ones. Yeah, yeah. You sort of like the key and. So for for your arms, the right analog stick can raise it up. If you push the right analog stick forward, it's up. The backwards are down, and you can move left and right. You can move left and right, forwards and backwards, and then left and right. And it's so confusing to get to work. And like when you do the leg movement, once you switch to the leg movement, you hold down R2 to lift up the right leg, and his leg leg just goes whoop straight up in the air. Like this, you like do it. one leg's there, the other leg's like that, and then you like move the stick forward, and it goes. Ooh. <laughs> and you can like tiny footsteps and you go <laughs> like, huge footsteps and you've got to basically pretend to be a human just throughout the game oh yes so it's just like uh, Octo Dad World Dadly Dadly's Cat Dadly's Cat are you sure? yeah yeah, yeah really? just the Dadly's Cat yes I remember that <laughs> yeah it was, it, was, it was just hilarious I remember Sarah was watching us and we were just all in fits of laughter um, I, was, I was making my way down the aisle to my bride at the end, as yeah, you do. Get married. As that's a, the demo a, that we played. As an octopus, yeah. and all her family were, were on the um, stalls, just sitting down, watching me. And the more more and attention then, you brought to yourself, because there was um, banana skin. There's like a the suspicion aisle. meter. <laughs> yeah, there's a suspicion meter, and I don't know if they're being suspicious if you're an octopus or not, because it's pretty obvious to see that you're an octopus. But I don't know. Um, so then there are banana skins lining the aisle, and then you have to sort of either make your way past them or, or put your legs over them, and strategically make your way through without slipping over 
I shuffled forwards. So I went slowly <laughs> and then straight <laughs> onto a Brunowski with going, Whoa! <laughs> and there's all these vases and then <laughs> Yeah, and vases, and then my suspicion meter went, Whoop! But anyway, I made it to the end, and then I got the ring and I tried oh, to right. put it on her finger. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> My tentacles gave her, and I went, And it went straight on her and, finger. But when when I played it, because there was, you walk up to the bride, and then there's a, and it says, Go, it's like a box box, so go find the ring. And you look over to the right, and there's a box of stuff. You have to throw all the stuff out, like with your, just shake it about, and then grab the grab the ring, switch to your leg, walk over, and it says, Put the ring on her hand. And I was trying to do it really quickly, and I just went, Whoa, poof, And I smacked her over the head with the ring, and she was like, and, and the suspicion meter went, Whoop! And I just, just put it on your finger there. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a great game. Yeah. But we did see some other fantastic titles, like, uh, or. or newly announced titles that were Wayne playable on Spy. the actual uh, floor such as a new Lemmings game oh, for Vita oh. called Lemmings Touch that was pretty good actually exciting now, we got some exclusive you footage what footage but we saw some exclusive footage yeah. uh, very cool and yeah. uh, Murasaka Murasaka Murasaki Baby which is uh, Murasaki just, means purple just, excuse me right in um, do we right, makes sense uh, we? makes much more sense so, to Murasaki. 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 Murasaki Baby is a game from the creator or creative director of Shadows of the Damned, which is a game that came out a couple of years ago, or a year ago. So Murasaki Baby is a game that's designed to be an emotional experience, as it were. There's this sort of oddly drawn girl with an upside down face. Nice. In a similar, in a similar fashion to Limbo, if anyone's played Limbo, this sort of black and white esque right. adventure game yeah. where you have to uh, scroll sideways. Yeah, take a look, take a boy through this. Oh yeah, I've creepy played. land. Yeah. And anyway, you need to take this this girl, who's, who's a bit skittish at first, by the hand, by actually holding her hand and dragging her ac- across the screen. And you have to avoid dangers and you know just encourage her to do certain things like cross jumps. Um, cross gaps, sorry, and, and jump and um, popping. Not popping things. So she has a balloon with her. That's probably which an is important thing. Her life is which, which is hard. That yeah. is literally her life. So you can't lo- you can't lose that balloon. And bear in mind, what we played was very much in early development. So it did crash one or two times, but you know it's fantastic nonetheless. And we had a, a quick interview with um, creative director. The creative director. Whose yep. name I forget at this moment in time, Massimo Guarini. Nice. Guarini. Nice. Uh, I don't want to put Gu- the accent on. Guarini. Guarini? Yeah. yeah. So that. Very nice guy, actually. Oh! Oh. Pop up. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 shit, then he's fallen. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Oh, oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, we're good. Right right. Now we're okay. sorting. Yeah, we're we're, we're fixed that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, before oh, we had God. a slight power collapse, with uh, as we realised we weren't charging the Mac um, whilst we were recording, so it was on reserve battery power. So sorry about the scuffle there. So as I said, uh, ah, sorry. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Murasaki Baby. It's a very cute emotionally driven game and you can change a background from a happy background to a, a bad red background with a back t- touch pad um, everything is entirely controlled everything by is touch. entirely controlled by touch no analog sticks or no, buttons no, or anything nothing like that and for instance um, uh, paper clips yeah you know the Microsoft Word or pins yes really? essentially flying versions of those that try yeah, and pop they, the balloon they try and pop the balloon ah they've become an enemy <laughs> and you yeah. need to you need to I think off everyone and, would appreciate that Tom, what was your experience with uh, watching Murasaki Baby? Um, did you see much of it? <laughs> um, yeah, I did no, see a little I mean, bit, but I couldn't really, you know, experience anything because all I was, I was doing was watching, so I didn't know the controls or anything like that. Um, well, they're pretty. Subtle, yeah, it looked like a, like Murasaki learns as she goes along, so you have to literally take touch her, like take take all of her hands. Is that her name? Put, purple. She's called Purple. <laughs> Murasaki Baby. Yeah, oh, Murasaki. it sounds which, which means purple. 
Purple, purple baby. Funky. I'm going to call her purple. <laughs> Madame purple. You Madame have to purple. drag her along by her hand. And like, if there was a jump, can I have to give, give her a little nudge, like on the side, like behind her? Yeah. But then eventually she'd learn. Ass. Yeah, essentially kick her up the ass with your finger. So she would learn and get progressively more advanced throughout the game. So she'll build her confidence up. She'll be able to do more by herself. But she might get a bit too confident and start running ahead and jumping over things. All of a sudden, oh, right. uh, an enemy will appear and you'll be, whoa, 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 whoa oh, slow down. Cool. Slow down. So No, it does look very cool. Yeah. We're very lucky to get some time with one of the creators of it and uh, an actual build of the game. So that's great. So, Tom, if you want to carry on about what we did the following days after the wargaming party and uh, me getting ill and... What's that? So, are we on to Friday? Are we on to Friday? Uh, oh, yes. I think. I haven't talked about Friday yet. So I haven't talked about Friday. Wargaming Friday. was Thursday night for you. Um, yes. Yeah, Wargaming was Thursday night, yeah. Yes. After we all went to Xbox. Um, so, we had a meeting with Warner Brothers... Which yes. <laughs> Josh only signed up for again. So I was like, oh fuck this, I'm going to go off and have a look on the shop floor whilst there's no public around. Um, but then Ben managed to get in anyway. But he, he, Josh went to see uh, Batman, uh, Arkham Origins, and or, uh, Game of that. Uh, and Snagiro, or Spelled backwards, backwards. yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> also Lego Marvel Superheroes, which is kind of cool. Yeah, no, it looked very cool. Very um, good. So anyway, yeah, yeah, and then we saw Mad Max. Oh, you did? I didn't think you saw it. Yeah. Saw Mad Max. That was good. Again, we saw it at E3, and the build we saw was slightly, uh, slightly different. Did a few d- more different things in it. You're right there, Jaunty. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Rubbing your ears. Playing with your ears. Yeah. Ears. Mm. You're quite hot, actually. Yeah, yeah I'm really <laughs> hot. <laughs> yeah. Just so airing, hot. airing me. Just yes. setting that up. Yes. Oh. Just... Just leave it ajar. Yeah. Fuck the cars. Fuck the cars. Fuck yeah, cars. So, yeah, Just we did have a few meetings. Jar. So, cars. Leave it to Jar. Yeah, yeah, uh, we did have a few yeah. meetings with yeah. Warn Brothers. Um, Hang on, stop. When there's a door, not a door. When it's a jar. <sighs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the way you ask. <laughs> I've long waited for this moment. <laughs> with your death, I will find peace. Actually, the, of course, because I'm a big Batman fan myself. Seeing Batman and Warren is really cool. We got to see the section where Firefly makes his introduction. Um, Good flying dude. Flying dude. That likes fire. Fire. Yeah. And uh, he was yeah. hmm. he was uh, placing bombs around Gotham City and trying to stop him. And one other item, or new item, I say new, it was introduced in the Wii U version of Arkham, Arkham City. Are these electro gauntlets, which when you've got enough combos and power in them, you can turn them on and basically your, your punches are now electrified and very powerful. But they do have a battery time on them, but uh, yeah, a bit overpowered, but I think because of the time limit you have on them and the How limited use, time limit? I'm not too sure, I didn't exactly count. Um, Three seconds? Uh, no, a little bit longer. Bring a stop watch next to you. like 15. Yeah. A what? No, that's ridiculous! 15? Uh, Probably like five maximum, no. just get like one hit kills off. And but they also yeah. they also serve as uh, a way to open up inaccessible areas previously inaccessible, like charging up power stations and doing stuff like that by shoving your hands in this electrical piece in a plug. In a plug, yeah. Batman, Batman has so one of those three pins. He's or, teaching no, kids US to. Is two. Yeah, well, it depends. He's Wolverine. Wolverine gloves. <laughs> it's just got really <laughs> tiny little. <laughs> <little Batman. laughs> uh, oh, that's not what I was expecting. When they sold it when to I me. When I asked, I had a magic claws, you know. <laughs> didn't expect fucking plugs. Um, <laughs> another feature, another mode that I managed to actually get hands on with was uh, 1 versus 100, which was a new challenge map mode. Where, actually, in this demo, we played as. I played as Deathstroke. And so I had the use of my staff, and I, d- I think I did have some guns and bombs, but or well, bombs and yeah. guns, mm. guns and bombs, and guns bombs and bombs, and bombs, guns and bombs. Um, bombs. But I used, bombs. I used bombs. mostly, I used mostly my staff, and it was it was a little bit similar to playing as Robin in the challenge maps in Arkham City. Okay, but nonetheless, we as I trolled through um, henchmen and knocked them down. They'd slowly pour in more and more and more different classes. So 
you'd have new enemy types slowly <laughs> pour in, armoured classes, just pure thugs, ninjas, or you'd have to double counter. So you'd hit them and then they try and hit you and then you need to count them again. Are um, they ninjas? Yeah, ninjas, real bastards. So that was actually really fun and I got to 83 people I think within f just over 5 minutes and that was the highest they had during that time people had played. Congratulations. I got told that by the main game director, Benoit Richer, I believe. That's what it is. No, I believe it is, yeah. Benoit you believe? So uh, that's quite cool. I still believe. Um, and then we saw a little bit of Wargaming. Oh, sorry. Well, that was Wargaming. much later. War Thunder. Was no. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Thunder. We saw War Thunder, which was, was a uh, World War Two. Oh, it was. Free to play. Thunder. PlayStation 4 and PC. No, 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 no. <sighs> <laughs> ah. Tom, if you want to, if you want to take the take the helm. So we went to see War Thunder, which was about a fifteen minute appointment, uh, in which we got to you know play War Thunder on the console we're using the new PS4 controller. And then when people do that, I then lose my train of thought. I was stabbed in the face. Fly planes. Fly planes. With knives. With with knives. Yes. With phones and bottles. Fly planes with knives. No, you, <laughs> you need to fly this plane. Ah! <laughs> 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 <He's gone>. uh, <laughs> and yeah, we had a good old, good old play of that on the PlayStation Four controller. Uh, Josh was being a bit daring with uh, with his flying, a bit too daring. Yeah, I was giving the main controller, the PlayStation Four controller, to the game playing on the big screen in front of us. So you dive bombed the village. I did. Yeah, pull up, pull up! Oh, I just want to look at the graphics here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a shit. You're not even flying on the ground. You're flying in the air. I know, but... I want like, the clouds to look nice. Please. Oh, Skyblocks. 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 Box. Skyblocks. Skyblocks. So, as you were saying, Tom, who cannot sustain a podcast conversation, which will be a new intro... Here's Tom Den, the man who cannot sustain a podcast conversation. <laughs> well, that was it. That was all we did. Wow. And then Josh was like, I need to go now. I've got a Destiny meeting. He was like, it's over. Anyway. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Now, I went to see South Park, actually. Oh. Which oh, what? was very, very fun. Hence why you met me outside Ubisoft. In, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been a very busy... It has been. Day. What did you guys do on Friday? Friday? We That's where we stood up for six hours. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, congratulations. Fucking, did you see anything else on Friday other than the Bubble Um What did we do on Friday? Um, well, we, we came nice and early, queued. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, the weed. I'm so fucking childish. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we arrived nice and early. Thank yeah. you, Games thank gone. you, Josh. Um, and queued, queued for some time. Cued like a all. horse, apparently. Cued. <laughs> but fortunately, I had my uh, my feed bag for myself. And then it was just completely... <laughs> I had a bag of corn, so I was happy. Corn? <laughs> it was like a walk in the grass, really. <laughs> so bad. All right. So <laughs> easy. Um, like, games. And we just stood and watched League of Legends. League of Legends. For a long time. Six hours. <laughs> Big fans. Stan literally standing up for six hours. Straight. Talking of... Sorry. No, I was just going to say we played Arkham Origins that day. Oh, how did you find that? It was brilliant. How long yeah. did you have to queue up for? Uh, we queued for probably about, not that long at all, like half an hour. 30 yeah. Oh. Oh, 30 minutes, not 30 seconds. Oh. Uh, and then we got... Oh! oh. 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 But we did, press. we did, we did, we did, we did let them use our press passes today, yes. but, um, on Sunday. It did feel like about less than two minutes of gameplay yeah. that you get. Yeah. It, it's you, ridiculous. Yeah. It was a very yeah, long so. and skippable... Can't yeah, see. it was so annoying. I was, like, it, mm. I was pressing start and it, it claims it's loading. It seems to think it loads for the exact length of the cutscene right at the start. It's really annoying. It's like, oh, cutscene's over, finish loading, sorted. So it's just the, de the demo. Yeah. And yeah. Well, I, I, the second time we did it, I managed Ooh. to actually finish it. I got to the bit and it said it had all with the cutscene at the end yeah. with the Joker, yeah. And, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. He's done it. He's got it back to zero. Yeah, Congrats, okay. pal. But, um, <laughs> after Arkham Origins, we played um, on uh, Battle Simulator. 
Bowser emulator. Uh, construction. Bowser, Bowser emulator, which is, yeah. Simulator, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a building, building, building simulator. Yeah, but building simulator. So it's, uh, you play as a constructor who gets to run around on... Constructing so, things. Builder. <laughs> constructing things, yeah. Builder. That will probably be builder. the best word. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you get to use uh, cranes, you get to use the digger, and it's... um, it's Forklift. Forklift, yeah. It was a work in progress, wasn't it's, it? Yeah, there were, the animations were... Shite. <laughs> When I looked at it, absolutely well, shite. <laughs> I mean, they've, they've got a stand, but there's been a long-standing yearly tradition of releasing these games on pretty much the same engine. Yet they've never came to a console. Ah, ah, but until now, but and and mobile tablet, different game, I think. No, the new ones on the tablet now. The same I've, exact same. Well, it's the. Well, it's probably like a I think mobile version. If I managed to yeah, talk to them point. and oh, ask okay. them one question, yeah. I'd ask. What took you guys so long? We've been waiting to operate as a farmer on our consoles in our normal home environment for many years. My question years. would be, why? Yes. Oh, well, you saw it's very, very popular. Much. You saw a lot of people do, over there. Do you right? know why? Because of the free caps and t-shirts. No. Yes. Do you know why Farming Simulator is so popular recently? Making funny videos where you self crashing into stuff. Exactly, because the like guys fucking did it and then it just kicked off a billion. Yep. And the downloads went ridiculously high on Steam and stuff like that. As how, that's how Yogg's cars work. That's how they work. Tru- uh, was it European Truck Simulator? Yeah. It was just that fired off as yeah. well. Euro Truck Simulator, Simulator 2 is actually a really good game. It is quite fun, yeah. actually. Well, I well own, fun. I own and play it. Yeah, I do yeah. own it and have played it. Yeah. Wow. I love PC gamers. They're so varied. Such losers. Oh, yeah. so varied. Seriously? I, I, I like so varied. I, I can say, Are you seriously going to start this? No. Okay. No. I can <laughs> say I, 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 an elitist at heart. I've never played. I've never played a game like that before, but it was interesting. It's, it's it was. It was good fun. Yeah. <coughs> we can't start so. the console PC debate <laughs> because it's a fifty-fifty split essentially. And it's a uh, five hundred hour long well, it's conversation. Not 50/50. Exactly. Sixty. I'm, I'm, I'm both. I don't both. care. Yeah. yeah so we'll go sixty-six. So yeah. let's move on 60, to something 60. a little bit, little bit more light-hearted. And that is the Oculus Rift. We got to try out the new piece of hardware running yes. around the stage. Well, that was the uh, Oculus Rift, uh, which, for those Oculus who don't know, it's a virtual reality head-mounted device, which can therefore give you the perception of being in the game. Which, once you put it on, you can turn your head. You'll turn your head in the game, basically. Simple as that. Simple as. Um, oh, God, Tom fuck is it amazing? <laughs> yeah, Tom got his first experience playing War Thunder. With one of the special preview builds of the game running through an Oculus Rift. Extremely so he, low res, though. So yeah, it was low res, which is a shame you didn't try the 1080p version of uh, a game we played in Oculus later yeah. in the week. Um, but no, it was very funny watching your first experience in Oculus Rift because, of course, you only see what you see in the screen, and your head is going around the room, and the creator of it forget. was standing in front of you. You look down at his feet, and then all of a sudden, just like tracked his body Whoa. up without knowing. <laughs> you were just, just looking up up the plane when you actually because he up said, at "Why don't you try banking sharply to the left and look at the ground?" And obviously, when you look at the ground, it's going to be there, kind of up there. <laughs> when I when I banked, so I kind of went, <laughs> and he was standing right there, was going, <laughs> <laughs> I had "No idea, no idea what's going on." It was great. It was really cool, actually. Really cool. Want to elaborate? And it seems like less of a novelty than the fucking Kinect. Glass. Seems like glass of a novelty. Glass. How is it like Irish? Well, it's a glass of a novelty. Glass. Yeah. Glass. Sorry, I guess. Apparently, I just can't talk. So. Sorry, do you want to? Ela- so, how, what was your experience like in the Oculus? Uh, in the Oculus Rift, for those who don't know. Awesome. Really awesome. It, it's it's accurate. Like really accurate, surprisingly. Um, you know, we didn't calibrate it beforehand or anything. Uh, really accurate. It's really fun. It's just it's it's just awesome. Like you sit in the cockpit, you look down, and obviously there's your severed body. If you want no head, it's like a stump where your neck should be. It's like oh okay. So your <laughs> hands there, and then, like when you when That's you move the yeah. joystick and stuff, your hands move it and the throttle and everything. You can look behind you. And but again, you you can't and... tell where your controls are. You need to be guided to your yeah. You need to put your hands on your the controls. Joystick and we, had, we had a joystick and an actual like throttle that they set yeah. up on the gamepad. So then the creator <laughs> sort of guides you to the joystick. Like, and... Where are the controls? Uh-huh. Ah, there they are. <laughs> oh, gotta... But yeah, and you know when you was, like, try, try <laughs> to uh, loop the loop. Nope. And I did loop the loop, and then you know when you're pull up, pull up, coming, coming. <laughs> when you're coming back down into the ground, you can like look up 
and there's like the ground there and you're like oh my god and it's like really weird but amazing yeah. amazingly cool yeah m- myself and Ben did also managed to catch a chat with one of the uh, VPs of Oculus Rift and co-creators of the machine we had a good 15 minute chat with him and also had a quick go with one of the mech games um, similar to the view you get if you're, when you're in Titanfall which we'll talk about in a second and it was 1080p so I put on the display perfect resolution like very good resolution and I could sort of boost up with my jetpack on the back of my mech <laughs> and then I could look down and it was a bit well I was like whoa it's a bit crazy whoa whoa wow so yeah no Oculus Rift is looking amazing and look out for the interview we did with Nate from Oculus Oculus Nate Oculus 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 Rift is a... Rift Rift um, so um, let's go on to a game that we played I know this may seem a little shuffle to all you people listening but we're just bumbling through it yeah, and we're game we played tired. today. What game we played today? Oh yesterday? yes, we played a game today, and we played it yesterday. We played it yesterday. We played it twice. What Josh, did we play? Uh, fuck names, not good with me. George and John T. Not Josh. Fuck you, Josh. Jo- Josh. Josh. Thank you, George. <laughs> Josh. George. Gosh. Um, Gosh. What was their first time today, which was which one Entertainment's Titanfall. I should have been here. They're going to call us marauders, terrorists, or worse. I'm sorry. I promised you I'd never get back in one of those damn machines again. If you're looking down, I hope you understand. If you heard the words, oh, and fall together, you get. Titanfall. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit! That was our master plan. We ruined it. Call of Call of Titanfield for Ghosts Origin Origin Creed Field Creed Field Creed Creed um Craft Creed Craft Creed Craft Call of Duty Call of Titanfield Call of Duty Ghosts League of Call of Duty Okay League of Call of you know, he could call of Titan, Titan Field for, for Ghosts, Assassin's Creed, Craft, Creed Ghosts. Origin, Craft, Ghosts. Ghosts. That's yes, that so anyway, we saw the game Titanfall, <laughs> which is exclusive to Microsoft's platforms of 360, Xbox One, and PC. And what do we think? Or what did you think, Tom? Uh, first of all, one word, John T, to describe it. Uh, yeah, fun. No, no, you, you already shit. used up your own word by going... Ah, I, that's not a word. <laughs> or going ah. No, it's punctuation. It's, ah. <laughs> it's a letter. Ah. George? Um. Uh, oh, it's a word. Oh, yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> uh, t- oh, a word. It's fantastic. Fantastic. It's F's only. Tom. You're an F word. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> That's just two words. <laughs> Hyphenated. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Just fuck. Is it like, like, like a double. <laughs> Double barreled surname. <laughs> <laughs> I am George <laughs> fucking Brent. Uh, I'm George FC. <laughs> Why'd you shorten it? Well. So, yeah, um, I guess one way to describe it. Revolutionary. That's not an F. No. <laughs> okay. Fevolutionary. Fevolutionary. Fez resolutionary. It's got um, Fez on it. Fab. Imagine the Titans with. You lose. That's so gay. It's totally oh, fab. it's fab. My oh, Titan's looking fabulous. <laughs> 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 Imagine a Titan with a feather on it. Like, George goes, <laughs> you're looking fabulous, darling. Let me get in you. He's got his Hello Kitty headpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Quick, grab oh, me, put God. me in your chest. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me embark you. Um, so yes, we played Titan. <laughs> <laughs> we managed to play Titanfall, and it was a great experience. And it was different to any shooter out there at the moment. Mm. To be honest, I saw it at E three. It didn't interest me. Now it does. Now it now it does. Majorly, I will be buying that as soon as possible. Can you single why? 
Sorry? Why it interests you now? Um, just because I it. actually it. delved into it and played it and got to know a bit more about well, it. It was actually uh, Fraser from Wargaming who recommended it to us. Yes, Fraser from... He said, from... go and play it. If that's one yeah. thing you want to do something, just go play that. I'm glad we did. Mm -hmm. Spread the tight full love. No, it's it was great. Um, and even though we didn't manage to get press priority for EA Games... It didn't take long at all. Um, it it didn't take that long. It took about an hour could take quite a lot of people in that time. So, yeah. 48, 48 to be exact. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a fantastic game. And for those who are maybe on the edge of getting Xbox One, then uh, don't worry, because it's out on 360 and PC as well. So, <laughs> Xbox Love is filling the room as we speak. It is none. <laughs> no, we love Xbox and all gaming consoles out there. Whether I don't name the them Wii, I do not love the Wii. We love them all equally, but some more know. equally than others. Some right? more, yeah, yes. Yeah. The Wii can be fun sometimes. <laughs> As all the Wii <laughs> says. Sorry! Dobby's back! Hello! Oh no! Oh no, Dobby! <laughs> oh my fuck! What's wrong with your foot? <laughs> your fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, 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 Sneaky room! Acronym, down top! So, yes. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> we were talking about Titanfall. Yes, Titanfall. Is there anything you'd like to say more on the topic of Titans? And yeah, falling? what was your like, original thoughts? Have you, had you seen anything about it beforehand? Before we played I it? saw something at the Xbox One launch. It was the first thing I saw. and Graphics looked pretty good, which is what everyone looks at. What about so. the idea of a mechs, mechs in battle? Also, who's it made by? Max. Respond. The people who left Call of Duty, Infinite Call of Duty 3. Infinite Wardy? Infinity Wardy. Infinite, <laughs> no, I said Infinite Wardy. <laughs> Not Call of Duty 3, that was a while ago. No, um, Infinite, Infinite uh, Ward. Infinity Modern Infinity Warfare Ward. 3. Infinity Ward. Yes. They left amidst the creation of Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Vince Sampella and um, Zach someone. Ah! Forget their names. Schneider. But anyway, um, it was founded by themselves. And the name fits it quite well, I, I guess. Respawn Entertainment. They came back, and uh, wow, they respawned. Wow, have, have they came back in, indeed. indeed? Yeah. Um, so Not yeah, thoughts, sorry. Yeah, they like, just go go go, 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 no, go. To me, it feels like one of those get those shooter games which you could just play over and over again, and every time something different would happen. And the mix of uh, what we played, it was a mix of sort of a. A campaign and a multiplayer, which I thought mm. was completely yeah. different to anything I've ever played. So it's always yeah. online. Yes. It's an always online experience that mixes in. Oh, it's going to be on Origin, which isn't going to go down well. <laughs> oh, so was that, <laughs> oh, that mixes. No, oh, well. oh, that mixes single player experiences. Oh. Single player oh. camp. Sorry, we just need a hand over here. No, yeah. no, you, no. single player campaign experiences within a multiplayer game which is awesome yeah really well, fun the interesting thing about it I found was that all of us who played it preferred being pilots yeah so you had the, the, you had the pilots despite, or the titans like mechs despite the big titan huge emphasis, guns and shit and we all preferred the mobile little pilots yeah it's more fun you know double jumping running wall jumping and well, I don't know. There's something to be said about the Titans. When I got in it, I was like, "Yes, I'm Superman." You can't get as many kills though. Another, give me another. I like, I like being mobile and agile and rushing everyone. Well, they, and be like, <laughs> yeah, but carry on. The thing about the Titans was that um, you kind of it was. I found when I was a Titan, um, it was very hard to die because you could just run around a corner, yeah. sort of get whatever shield you had back up, very and then powerful. go and shoot more yeah. people. And if you have anyone shooting you on the floor, like a puny little. Pilot, you just shoot him down. He just blows up into blows up pieces. I always felt a bit vulnerable in the Titan because it was very difficult to tell when, like through my headset, when an enemy pilot had jumped on top of me. Most of the time, I think I saw them do it or heard them because you hear them go and rip on the thing. So I just jumped out and shot them down. But yeah, I felt a bit vulnerable that I could just be picked off by it. a human, a human being. Yeah. That's the idea behind it, though, isn't well, it? Well, at least they still got their vulnerabilities. But you can't really turn quickly and, and jump and turn on it. Like yeah, but that's, that's that's the, the, the I guess those are the weaknesses. There's the, 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 the big the trade off. They are very meant to be very polarized between. And that's why yeah, incredibly mobile, good pilots and 
quite rigid mechs. Yeah. But I mean, the mech fighting is pretty cool. You can, as we experience, you can punch sure. other mechs back into your teammates and then they'll get the whoever's controlling the mech out if they don't eject in time and blah, blah, blah. And if you time it right, you can rip the, sort of the pilot out of the mech and just throw him and break his bones. All of his bones. And eat them. Ah. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Not barbarians. <laughs> <laughs> eat them. Ah. Wow. <laughs> bit dark. My titan put hungry, darling. <laughs> oh, goodness. My <laughs> Hello Kitty titan. <laughs> Make sure you God, go. I hope they have hats and customisable options. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Customise your titan. Hello Kitty back. Fez. And <laughs> 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 its own sound effect. <laughs> back on what you said, <laughs> Dayton. Back on what you said, Dayton. Make sure that if you're if the titan does eat the human, that it doesn't eat the liver because that's got the most carbs in it. You got to keep the thermal body for a good figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Jesus Christ! What is this? Homosexual oh, yeah. carbs. Mm. You know, open this a little bit. Can we just open that window? Get some air in. See what it's like. Oh. Absolutely fine. Yeah, wait. Yeah, until was... until the ambulance is Fucking come sirens. <laughs> 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 it's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> out in country, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but then, yeah. They're, oh, they're weird. So what other games did we play? I didn't really play that much else. Obviously, we played... Uh, all four of us played Diablo 3 on the last day of Gamescom. Yeah, that was fun. I had uh, no idea what was going on. No, neither did I. Danny Troll- De Bilbo. De Bilbo 3. I was just trolling my character along and... Oh, mashing all the buttons at once, going... Oh, trees! Yeah, there were trees. I feel the PlayStation 3 one is... It's one which you... Ne- not Doesn't this- look particularly pretty. No, it's not. Well, it's... PlayStation 3. It's yes. Play, play, we, we've been looking at new PlayStation Four style graphics yeah. and, and, and now high and of course it is on PS Four as well. Yes, of course. But um, I think it's a game which you'd like sit down on a sofa with your mates with a couple of drinks and you try and play through part of the campaign yeah, and you you'd just have a load of fun. Yeah. And you'd yell at them for standing in the poison and dying. Yeah. And just, <laughs> just it'll be a funny. It'll be <laughs> funny. Yeah, true, true. true. That's That's very when it gets super yeah. hard because the thing with Diablo is. Although that normal mission, that normal storyline is quite easy, you it replay it on then hard well, and then and very hard ridiculous. and whatever. It reminds me of Baldur's Gate, mm-hmm. uh, well, which old. I played on the Nintendo 64, that's an old game. I believe. And I remember in one part there'd be like a, a skeleton or the Grim Reaper, and you'd have to escape from it in, in a maze or so and stuff. I don't know, it's very familiar. You're not meant to escape, you are meant to kill everyone, we were just trying to do it quickly. No, I'm talking about Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I know. Not Diablo 3. I mean, yeah. You compared it to Diablo 3. Well, in the sense that they look similar in style and the things you have to do. Really like, similar style of game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Same, yeah. Whatever the name for the genre is that I can't remember. Mm. Uh, uh, Bird's Eye View. Dungeon Crawler. Dungeon Crawler. RPG. Chewy. I think it's pretty much just Dungeon Crawler because there's a couple of, couple of rounds. DC dungeon RPG. Crawler. That's it. Yeah. Mm. It wasn't hugely popular no. at Gamescom because it's been out now for. Yeah. Um, Which is good because you guys yeah, went on every day, uh, just two, went for a quick sit two down, played the other three. Well, that, one years. Three. One year. One, one year. It's been over a year. Just over one a year. year. Just over one year. year. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was Why did you snort when you. Hoping nobody heard it. <laughs> What was more popular was that Blizzard announced a an expand an oh, Reaper of Souls. Yeah. So that da, was so da, da. everyone was looking at that and they're thinking, should I play that or should I play a game I've already got? Box down to Bilbo Three. Mm. It's an easy choice for well, those sort of people. Apart from cute. Yeah. We just enjoyed yeah. sitting down for a little bit. Nice sofas. Yeah. yeah. That's how they're trying to sell it to you. Big big T V screen on a sofa. Big sofa. Yeah. TV. Also, four headsets, four friends. Collect, Take them down. Collecting Blizzard lanyards. Yes. Yeah. I didn't get one. No, yeah, they, they didn't get one. They weren't giving them out at the end. They must they have run out. Occasionally yeah. stopped. Probably because yeah. you, well, you, you guys fucking stole like ten of them. <laughs> I've got two. You. You've got. I got three. three. Yeah. yeah. I've got five between. I'm not going to use them ever. I got. <laughs> best I've, part. I've never used lanyards ever. <laughs> the best part of the day was um, catching all of the uh, packs of cards from. Uh, Farm Simulator. Yeah. So, what else did we play, Tom? 
What um, did I luckily manage to get us into, even though we didn't have the fast passes for it? Duty Ghosts. So Penn and I, when Josh was over at Ubisoft, maybe? No. Where was it? Where were you? I don't know. I can't remember. Destiny. Destiny. Uh, yes, Destiny. <laughs> so, on the Sunday, the last game of Gamescom 2013. Last game of Gamescom. Uh, last day of fuck you, Gamescom. <laughs> Chante! Um, Josh managed to get us into Call of Duty Ghost after Ben and I failed on multiple occasions a couple of days ago. Uh, which is awesome because I walked in and then just went <laughs> and put my two fingers up at everybody in the queue. <laughs> Much of the life of them. Very professional. Very professional <laughs> Very of me, professional. but I can't help Not it. Not going to be allowed back. The feeling is amazing. Um, and yeah, so we kind of queued up for about five minutes and sent us in and we played the new game mode. I can't remember the name. Uh, yeah, portals on it. Yeah, it's the one it shooting makes, people. It's like capture shoot flag, but instead shoot, of a flag, you shoot have the a, other team. Yeah, like no. a circle, like a portal. It was like, and so you can either like defend your portal, or a blue one enemies. and an orange one. Yes, yeah, so you have to basically just inspiration run. from that. Was it portal by chance? Was it? It was the team colors. What did you do with their circle though? Run into it, and then and then you get a point and teleport you back to your portal, and then there's a ten second cooldown before you can get another point. Oh, and that's actually it. So, so you, like you can either like storm easier. Kind of without yeah. the retreating bit, which is tend to be. Which is it's more about bit, yeah. making your. But then you can either have it, half the team like defending, scramble so around it, and then the other so. team attacking, or so you have to defend, back yeah. and forwards. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was really fun actually. Very easy. I think we thrashed it was like eighteen or eleven or something to us. But yeah, very fun game. Uh, the weapons are nice. The perk system is lovely. I will be writing up an article about this at some point in the future. So I won't tell you too much now. But cool. Will this have del- 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 detail everything? In the article, everything, everything. Um, Good. What else did we play? What else did you guys play? Anything else? Uh, mm, not really. No. I, I played a lot of my magic, which is something that interests me, but no oh, one else apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's move on. So, um, oh. back to E3. <laughs> That's how much we don't like Mike and magic. No. Uh, so I guess I guess it's on to our big topic where we actually highlight stuff through news. So we're on to news of the week. So we need boom, boom. boom. No, don't boom. 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 I was enjoying it. Well, that's just, well, well, cut, 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 just to put it. He's going to put the jingle in. That's quite going to put the jingle. Fuck's sake, Dave. Fuck's sake, you're a fucking wizard. Um, <laughs> news of the week. I don't even know what's been happening. So no, you, but I'm, I'm saying like the big stuff that was announced during the conferences we didn't delve into that for instance oh when God. the Playstation 4 is out play out of November what next <laughs> <laughs> come on I want to go to sleep no I'm joking so as per usual just in time for Christmas just in time for Christmas yes yeah, yeah. so the Playstation 4 was given a release date whereas the Xbox One wasn't to many people it'll be a week before surprise. the Playstation 3 and £10 cheaper without the thing <laughs> you've heard it here first ladies and gentlemen let's start replay <laughs> so Yes, it, w- it was announced that the PlayStation 4 would be making its way to America, North America, on the 15th of November, and Europe on the 29th of November. Japan wasn't given a date, whereas uh, really other territories it, so. outside of that as well wasn't or weren't given a date. Um, but again, to many people's surprise, the Xbox One wasn't given a release date um, on the same day they had their conference. Though a lot of things have come out of Gamescom, again, uh, a lot of it is going to be more in the articles, so stay tuned mm-hmm. to startreplay.com, you'll be able to find a lot more information there, and do also do an upcoming review of the new Splinter Cell by Mr. Tom Dayton. It's me. So look forward to that. Uh, so I guess we're at probably the most important part of our podcast, and that is Tom Dayton's Magic Minute. <laughs> Well, I think we already know what this magic minute is about, and that's just Dayton's magic minute. <laughs> just stole it, man. Stole it. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, we can do that. Yeah, what's we can that? Do that. What's that over yeah. there? Got a fi- I got my phone. I got my phone. I got my phone. I got my keep the keep the jump out of the pipe. Oh my god, it's a massive Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's made its way in the into the oh building. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, pterodactyl then. What? I've got mine. I've got mine. I've got mine. I've got mine. Oh, well, it's too late. No, you're too late. <laughs> so, Tom Dayton, your magic minute is about what would you choose as you're such a big COD fan 
and now you've played Titan Fall and you really haddock. enjoy that. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> do you prefer Haddock or Cod? Cod. <laughs> didn't, didn't oh God. Prefer cod. <laughs> oh my God, we haven't even entered the matter limit, dude. <laughs> You haven't even asked the question yet. We're talking about haddock or cod. No, oh, we're talking about your... actual fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you know a game called Haddock? <laughs> uh, Captain Haddock, uh, Tintin, uh, kind of, yeah. Long way around it, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Ooh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Tom Naden, your magic minute is going to be about whether you prefer Call of Duty Ghosts or Titanfall. Which do you prefer most? George, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> George, you put some on my leg and I'm saying one day is a bit of thread. Okay, <laughs> fantastic, great. Oh, All right, so, Tom Dayton, Titanfall or Call of Duty Ghosts, your Magic Minute starts now. Uh, so, I, I started writing my piece yesterday about this and I really started, my Ben asked me this yesterday and I, I, was, I, was, I was in like shock because I didn't know. I mean, I've played every... Well, pretty much, you know, from like Modern Warfare 1 when everyone's like, whoa, Call of Duty FPS and shit. I, you know, playing every single one, I play it a lot and I absolutely love them. 20 seconds. Um, and, that, don't do that, it's really annoying. <laughs> Waste of time. And, um, uh, and I, I wasn't the biggest fan of, of Activision's like Black, Black Ops, like 1 or 2. I, I pre-ordered 2, you know, I thought it would be much better. It wasn't, I was disappointed. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 and 2 and 1, I loved. Um, but, but, Wait, okay, so I can <laughs> Quite frankly, COD, because I've been waiting for a decent COD game for a long time. As good as Titanfall is, it's a great idea, it's lovely, it's, 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 it's not COD, and I'm just used to COD. But I will play both a lot. A lot. But really? Ghost, I'm going to be Ghost. Right. There you go. Tom Dane's yeah. Magic Minute. Give him a round of applause, gentlemen. Oh, someone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's really got like a magic sound effect. Tom dude is magic minute. No, we actually have a uh, him playing the flute. Oh, yeah, it's like you can play I need to re-record that fast. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Oh shit pouring out of his ears. I didn't see that. Um So that was Tom Dane's magic minute. We do have how Competition time! Competition time! Real quick. Woo, woo, woo. Alert! So, Competition time. On our Facebook page, you may have seen we posted a status about Infinite Crisis, which is aka League of Batman. League, League of Batman. Batman. Uh, so it's League of Legends, Dota 2, but with DC yeah, comic we get heroes that. and villains. Mobile. So we have 10 Mobile. beta keys. Online. Yeah, we have 10 beta keys to but five people and a friend. Yes, the way we're doing it is that if you send us uh, look at the name essentially of the person that you're going to invite to like Start Replay, uh, and then we see that they've liked it, we'll send a key to you and your friend, and so we can do that five times. And also, we have how many of the Borderlands 2? We also have Borderlands 2 one season DLC pass? season passes. One? One for PS3 and one for Xbox 360. Yeah. Uh, we which have includes all four main campaign DLCs, which goes from Torgs, something, campaign something. Of Carnage, campaign of Carnage. Captain Scarlet's Captain Quest Cast- of Booty. Scar- 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 <laughs> <laughs> Captain Scarlet's Castle of Castle. Yes. Quest of Booty. Um... <laughs> The other one. Uh, what's the most recent one? Tiny Tina's Assault and Dragon Keep. And another one. And... Anyway. Uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, Hunter. Um, oh. So Hammerlock's... So Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt. Yeah, that's there it. There you go. All very good, actually. All very oh, good. But Tiny Tina... We have yet... Alone. Yep. To decide how we're going to give them out. We have yet to decide yeah. how we're going to give them out. Uh, it, we, we'll announce it shortly. Probably via Das YouTube video. Yes. Das YouTube. On, on Facebook or Twitter. Oh. German is so good now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we will announce shortly how we're going to be giving away the Borderlands 2 <laughs> DLC season <laughs> yeah. passes, courtesy of Normally 2K. Game. 
Now, also related to 2K, is that you'll be able to find our review, and also this was done by our first review copy we received, of the Bureau, uh -huh. the new XCOM game that arrived in the last week, mm -hmm. or the 23rd of August in Europe, and the 20th of August in North America. Um, go and check that out, see what we thought on the title. Actually pretty good. Very good. And, uh, yeah, ha have a little look at it. Yeah. John T or George, have you got anything else that you would like to add about Gamescom, about anything that you've heard or seen, or anything that you might think is relevant? Now is your time to shine. Mm, I don't have anything. The big thing I'd say is that... What was your... George was about to <laughs> fucking say something! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? Go, George. So the main Home. thing... Home! <laughs> Home! <Okay. laughs> I just won't say it. No. Um, the main thing I'd say about Gamescom in general is if you've got any sort of mind thinking I might do that, just do it. Because I've been considering going to gaming sort of conventions, things like this for a while, and it's it's been one of the best experiences I've had uh, abroad. So if you've got any mind sort of thinking I might do it, just go and do it. Yeah, and Gamescom is a good one to go to as well because it's open to the public. It's not that like expensive, it's only yeah. family. No, that's true. Um, and it, yeah, it's really, really, really fun. It's been great, absolutely great. It has been. It has been. It has been very good. Um, that, that so now, really George good. and Johnty, what was your experience like on your first ever podcast, specifically the Start Replay podcast? What is this playing in the back? Why are you? Why are you doing internet? I have no idea. Well, I have to say, technically, superb. Yeah. Um, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, sarcasm. Okay. Just because what you're currently doing. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why did you have to quit it? Because you're looking on the internet. It made me even more Just angry. Turn it, off. turn it off. Don't want to make me angry. I'm Bruce Banner in a nutshell. Well, and that watch is me. pissed off. Watch me oh. command Q with that fucking safari. I'm gonna fuck you. But he's always angry. <laughs> Why are you looking on the internet? I'm just... <sighs> Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Grand Theft Auto 5 development is done and it's hitting the press soon. Oh my god! What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> okay, okay, it's Fucking done. Fucking douche! <laughs> no, don't, okay. <laughs> that probably helps. What, put it on mute? My fans are going up. Is that your... Yeah. The fans wow. on the Mac. Mac's quite small, so... It's a very thin <laughs> piece of equipment. I that? can see. Yeah. So, Basically. George and John T. Hello. What has your experience been like on the Start Replay podcast. Would you um, recommend it, maybe, for somebody else to join the <laughs> team? And why are you laughing? You're part no. of the team. Oh, or maybe not. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it. Um, yeah, interesting. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. I feel a bit sorry for you having to edit the whole of it now. But well, you know, how usually we, we edit as we go along. How much have we got now? Uh, we have got, ladies and gentlemen, and at this minutes. moment now, and we've 50. got nearly two hours. Nice. All right, so. But that's all plus all the... All of the crap at the beginning. Yeah, so you, can, you can skip out quite a few bits of just, like, sciences, listening to cool. Dane on the toilet. Yes, hopefully this is going to be reduced down to around about an hour. Maybe yeah, hour, hour, hour twenty. Yeah, yeah. Something nice and compact. Cool. Some great. That's a nice looking yeah. Zoo Tycoon hat you've got on there. Uh, Which we never managed Tom to. Get. I tried. I went there this morning, and it I was, was beautiful. It beautiful. was no, no, no. So I it's hope. Next as the dish. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we hope you enjoyed the introduction by Eric Johnson, the new voice of Sam Fisher in Splinter Cell Blacklist and Beyond. That's not the actual title, but any future titles of AKA Splinter Cell, he is going to be the voice of Sam Fisher. What, for the yeah. entire of Infinity time? Well, forever. Until he dies. That's <laughs> it's been better than mortality. So, um, so yes, thank you very much again to Eric Johnson for providing us that intro, because we very much appreciate it. And actually, we do have something...